we're going to change the background color and we're going to start by clicking directly on the background of your design. This will activate the toolbar at the top of the screen and we're going to navigate to the background color option within the toolbar and this will open up a color selection panel. Here you see a small rainbow tab or icon. Clicking on it reveals a color slider and a field where you can enter a specific hex code for the color you desire. Canva offers solid and gradient colors, allowing you to pick precisely what you need for your design. If you prefer a textured background over a solid cover, Canva provides a library of textures and photos you can use. To find the textures, go to the Elements tab on the side menu. Once there, search for the type of background texture you want. Perhaps it's watercolor. Go to the photo section within the search results to view the options available. Remember, anything with a crown is a pro feature and you do need to pay for that. When you find the texture you like, click and drag it across your design to apply it as a background. You can right click it and say set image as background. Now I also can modify this by clicking on it, clicking on edit photo and cropping it and I can make it bigger. Maybe I want more of that in it or smaller. I can also modify the texture's intensity. Click on the texture to select it. Look for the opacity option in the top of the screen and I can again enter directly or use the slider to adjust the opacity, scaling it up or down to achieve the desired intensity. If I decide that I don't want this background, I can click on the background texture and press the delete key on my keyboard. And this just removes the background and then you can either choose a new color or texture as you see fit. Make sure to watch the next video where I show you how to add your own photos to your templates.